and today we're going to be doing a current favorites for you guys this was supposed to be an october favorites but it's the middle of november so it's going to be a current favorites and we have quite a few new things to talk about with you guys we love doing these favorites videos so we're going to hop right into it because this is going to be probably an episode long <laughs> okay so first things first we're going to start with body usually we do body like last but i want to go ahead and do it first today because i'm so excited to talk about these three body washes that i've been obsessed with so the first two are from the same brand the first one is from the brand cremo you guys know i was obsessed with this brand last year yes. as well but last year i was obsessed with the i think we like the palo santo and then you really like the, the one that smelled like tequila yeah it did smell like tequila a little bit by the way i find these at target in the men's section yes but this year this one i discovered in target as well and i've been obsessed with this one this is the cremo reserve collection body wash in the scent number 21 vintage suede so this oh is basically a dupe for ombre leather by tom ford it smells pretty much the same but to me this is a tad bit warmer yeah a little sweeter it's just phenomenal it's amazing like this is like the perfect base for you to like do before you spray on your perfume so like if you shower and then you get out of the shower spray on your perfume like this is a good layer like that's how intense this is for a body wash this has a very woody smell mm -hmm. if you've smelled tom ford ombre leather the perfume you know exactly like the family that this is in. Yeah. It has like a very crisp but warm mm -hmm. woody like cedar. Yeah. Smooth like velvety kind of scent. Yes. And like the name it smells vintage. It has it like does. this really vintage nice timeless scent. Very sophisticated. Very sophisticated. Very sexy. Yeah. Um, so the top notes for this are white moss, rich amber, and smooth suede. So that's also why you like it. You love a good amber. Yes. It has rich amber. It gives it that warmth. Yes. Um, but it's not too too much amber this is very right. unisex even though you can find this in the men's section it smells unisex to me yeah if you're a girl that likes you know more deep scents and like yeah. not scents that are too sweet or too florally mm -hmm. like this is something that you would love yeah um because i'm more of a androgynous girl when it comes to my scents. scents yeah um so i don't like anything that's too girly on the like girly side like even if i have a girly scent i'll mix it with something else that's yeah, more androgynous like this yes it smells so expensive like you would never think that this is a body wash from target like it smells super expensive you can find this like in a lalabo store yes it does smell it like smells that. Mm -hmm. expensive and mm -hmm. it's not so super luxe but it's super affordable mm -hmm. and i can't stop using this every time i use it it's like a treat and experience in the shower yeah so i try to only use this like three times a week because it is very fragrant but the fragrance in it doesn't like dry out my skin or anything or makes it irritated. So that's mm -hmm. also why I like the Cremo Body Washes because you get a nice sensorial experience in the shower yeah. without your skin getting irritated if you have sensitive skin. And I think this would be like good Christmas gifts too, right? Cause like not everybody like talks about this body wash brand, especially women because like it's in the men's section. So you right. wouldn't typically go over there. Mm -hmm. But I always went to the men's section for body wash because for a while I was just getting bored with like yeah the regular body washes that I was using and I wanted to try something different yeah. and plus this packaging just caught my eye I was like oh what's that it's really nice it is and then the other scent that I like from Cremo this one is not from their reserve collection but it's like their regular line so this one is in the scent sage and citrus this one is more like of a lighter scent it's not as deep it's not as it's like more warm crisp. it's yeah more crisp so the sage and citrus is like more on the like after workout vibe for me so i like to use this after pilates or something after i've got a good sweat in it smells amazing Ugh. and this smells even better to me lathered the vintage suede to me smells the exact same in the bottle as it does mm -hmm. when you lather it but to me this one smells better once so it, it lathers projects, like with the steam yes. and everything exactly like it smells like very relaxing very calming kind of spa like mixed with a sexy man mm -hmm. so if a spa and a sexy man had a, a baby it smells like this because it's like relaxing but also like very like intoxicating to me so this one just says it's a revitalizing combination of bright mandarin dry herbs and white cedar i love cedar cedar is really good yes mm -hmm. so this is a very rich lathering body wash so you don't need a lot to lather you only need maybe like a quarter size amount so these do lather really nicely as well um, so this says it's really good for dry and itchy flaky skin that's also why i really like this one as well and then the last body wash i've been obsessed with kendra actually put me onto this you guys know dove is like a tried and true body wash for us love it it's just like a no-brainer great if you have sensitive skin but this one in particular is their new dryness relief jojoba oil body wash 
So this is low key to me like a body wash mixed with like a body conditioner. So this is really good, especially for this time now that it's getting colder outside and your skin is like way drier. So this is like a good prelude to like moisturize your body before you even get out of the shower. And it smells impeccable. It's like a sweet fruity smell. Kind of smells like almonds. I love it. Like sweet almondy. But it also has like a fruitiness in it too. Think so? Yeah, hmm. to me. It's like sweet fruity almond. So. It kind of smells like pears now that I'm smelling. Gosh, you're right. That's why you like it. <laughs> it has so. like a sweet almond pear smell. Yes. It does. It's really good. Perfect description. So predictable. You with the amber, me with the pear. Okay. So yeah, this is amazing. Like I said, it does have jojoba oil in it, which is why it's so moisturizing before you even get out of the shower. So I'm just obsessed with this. Also, these two smell amazing together. I've also been mixing these two when I can't decide what I wanna shower with that night. So I just mix these because this just adds a lot more moisture to my shower experience. Okay. So love this. Okay, so speaking of the shower, I have a body scrub to talk about. And this is rare because you guys know that I'm really picky when it comes to body scrub. But I've been wanting to try some products from this brand for a while. But every time I go on Ulta, they're completely sold out. The shelves are empty. It's so ghetto. I'm like, well, y'all stuff it. So I decided to just order the Truly brand stuff that I want to try online. And one of them was this body scrub. And this is the Truly Blueberry Kush Detoxify and Illuminate CBD Body Scrub. If you guys are looking for a new body scrub that's not super abrasive, because I do love my KP Duty. I think it's called KP Eraser, not KP Duty from First Aid Beauty. That's like my holy grail obsessed body scrub. Like I will use that for life. But I wanted to try something a little more mild of a body scrub for the colder months. Because also I just wanted to switch it up. But the First Aid Beauty one is my favorite for like the summer months. Even though I could use it throughout the whole year if I really wanted to. Mm -hmm. I just really wanted to try this one. And it's a very mild body scrub, but it's super effective. It's hard to find like mild body scrubs that do something because most of them don't really do anything. No. This one, y'all, I love it. It smells like blueberries. I'm not the biggest blueberry fan, but it has a nice like light blueberry smell. It's not too like in your face, so I'm fine with it. But I love the texture. It's like sandy. It's like a sand kind of texture. And it's really fine. I love how it feels on my legs. Also, as you're rubbing it into the skin, it kind of melts into like this oil, which is really cool. So it feels really moisturizing like as you're rinsing it off. So it's a nice like experience. It's a really unique body scrub. I haven't tried anything like this. So it does have like some really good ingredients. It has coconut. It has AHA and BHA ingredients. So I love this. If you guys want to give it a try, they have a lot of scrubs from this line, but I really like this one, the Blueberry Kush. CBD, it's amazing. It doesn't smell like CBD at all, but I really love this. And I really like the glass packaging too, so this is really nice. So out of the shower, I've been loving this new body oil from Truly. This is their Glazed Donut After Shave Oil, and I only use it on the days that I shave, of course. I don't use this just as a regular body oil. I specifically use this after I shave. So this is phenomenal. This brand, I kept saying on Pinterest, like it kept coming up and I saw people use it in their like shaving routine. And the glaze and the sheen that this gives your legs, this is the perfect name, Glaze Donut, cause it's super shiny, it's very luminous, super soft to the touch, hmm. but it's not sticky and like gross feeling like somebody oils. Greasy, I hate that. I love this. I love like the really pretty fuchsia color. Like I'm obsessed with this, you guys. It has coconut, grape, passion fruit, lavender, and vitamin E. Doesn't smell too fragrant again. I do like that this brand doesn't have like super potent of smells because not everybody likes to have super fragrant smells for like their leave on body products. Like rinse off stuff, like I'm okay with most of the time because I'm rinsing it off. But if I'm going to leave it on, I like it to be lighter scented. I was pretty impressed because it's really hard for me to be impressed by like leave on body stuff. I feel like it just don't work. But this, I love. You only need a little bit on each leg and I just love to mix this with like any body cream. One of my favorite like Bioderma body lotion is really good with that. So if you guys are looking for a new aftershave like oil, if you like those kind of oils for aftershaving, this is a good one to try. And then my last body product is a body lotion and I was so surprised when I realized that I like this because if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you know that I absolutely hate Vaseline. 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 <laughs> lotions i do not like their lotions they're very water-based they don't do nothing i honestly feel like they make you ashier 
Like, so they honestly do kind of what Chapstick does. Like you think it's working, but it's not. Yeah. I thought like that most of them were just honestly not good at all. But this one in particular, I will shoot. So this is the Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant with Pure Cocoa Butter Lotion. Y'all, this one, this is probably the only one keeping them in business because this one actually works. It's super moisturizing. It's not too thick or sticky, but it gives my skin like this nice glow. And I honestly think it's the shea butter in here because my skin actually feels moisturized. It's soothing. It does have like a nice, like light sweet smell. This is really, really nice. So if you guys are looking for a really affordable lotion that actually works, this one from Vaseline, I can vouch for this one. I can tell y'all that this one is worth it. So I really love this one. And I honestly think that this is just as good as like the Nivea, Nivea lotion. Really? Yes. And that's saying a lot because this Nivea is bomb. is like stamped in our like top five lotions yes, of all it's time. Yes, it actually works. Like Nivea, Eucerin, it's mm -hmm. certain lotions that just are forever going to be top notch. At the drugstore. At the drugstore. Mm -hmm. And this one I do think is worth it. So the Coco Radiant is so, so bomb. It has the perfect name because you look so radiant and glowy. So this is bomb for like daytime, nighttime really really good and this is also good if you mix it with the vaseline like jelly oil stuff i love that like the, the shea butter one and you can like mix them together i really love that too gives you an even more like glowy sheen so this is bomb okay so next i have two makeup related products one of them i've mentioned in a favorites before but i wanted to mention this liner with this lip oil because i've been loving this lip combo i'm wearing it today so I've mentioned this Makeup by Mario lip pencil before in the color Chris. It's like a mahogany type color. It's like great for every day. Um, so sometimes I don't want to do like a chocolate lip pencil. I want to do something not as dark. And this is like a perfect happy medium between like burgundy, chocolate, and mauve. It's like all those wrapped in one lip pencil. I also love the texture of this lip pencil. Um, I talked about this in another favorites, like I said, but I'm just mentioning it again because this is not drying. So that's the only thing I can't stand about like matte lip pencils. They're very drying mm -hmm. and they make my lips feel even more dry. So you have to make sure you have a nice thick lip balm underneath. This one, you don't need all that because it glides on beautifully and it stays all day. So I've been liking to pair this with the Clarence lip oil. So this is a newer version of their lip oil. So this is like a lip oil slash tint. Um, so this one has a lot more tint in it. So this is great for like a no makeup makeup look or days that you don't want to wear makeup at all. It just makes your lips look so juicy. It makes you look more awake because um, it's like this nice, pretty dark cherry color. The only thing about it is you have to keep reapplying it because this is on the thinner side. So it's not as thick and occlusive as like the Dior lip oils, but I still love it because sometimes with the Dior lip oils, I have to apply a lip tint before and then put my lip oil over top, but this is like a two in one. So I don't have to walk around with like a lip liner, a lip tint and a lip oil. So this is just like really good and convenient. I'm actually almost out of this and I haven't even had this that long. So I just love how it makes my lips look. Like I said, it makes you look way more awake. It's great for like early mornings and you feel like you just look so like crusty a little bit. Like, you know, like when you get up early, you wash your face, brush your teeth, put on your whole skincare routine, but you still feel like you don't look like as pretty this to me just makes you automatically look like that girl more put together way more put together makes the lips look extra juicy so i just love this stuff it is on the thinner side like i said so you do have to apply more but i think it's because of the formulation with the tint mixed together oh. so i think that's why it's a little bit thinner so i love this stuff it's amazing and it smells really good too and it's even more amazing with this lip pencil and then the last product that i have i don't know if this is makeup related i guess it's skincare related i don't know this is from the brand dhc and this is a eyelash serum this is their eyelash tonic so if you guys follow us on our vlog channel i talked on a vlog before about me trying different lash serums and most of them i noticed they don't really help my lashes grow per se they just make them darker and it makes you think you have thicker lashes because I noticed that when I would use a lot of eyelash serums that my eyelids would look darker. Like I looked like I had dark circles and I typically do not have dark circles. Even when I don't get a lot of sleep, I'll have bags under my eyes, but I don't have dark circles. And I noticed that a lot of lash serums were doing that to my eyes. I'm like, I don't like this. So I discovered this one at Target from the DHC brand and it's actually way cheaper than a lot of the serums that I was using from like Sephora and stuff. Yeah, those are expensive. Lash serums run so expensive, mm -hmm. like $100. Yes, I'm like, I'm not paying $100 so I can look like a raccoon. No, thank you. This is amazing because I've been trying to grow my lashes out the past year and a half, maybe two years. 
because I got lash extensions once or twice. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how y'all be doing that. It's too much upkeep. They look crazy when they start to fall out. And they only look good to me on myself when I had on makeup. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm gonna just start all over and regrow my own lashes out. Because I'm more of like a strip lash type of girl. I like the option to have on lashes. Cause to me, I don't like how they look without makeup. I'm not into the baby bop look. They look too baby boppish to me. Really heavy. Way too heavy. Mm -hmm. It's like too much. I feel like it kind of takes away from my natural beauty. I just don't like them on myself, me personally. So I was like, let me find a serum that can help me grow my lashes that don't make me look like a raccoon. And this one has been working amazing. So this one doesn't have like the applicator like your typical lash serums. It's more of actual like spoolie Spooly. brush mm -hmm. and you just put them on your lashes. They actually make my lashes like stronger so they don't like fall out as much. Mm -hmm. So I noticed that with this, it's kind of like a lash conditioner. So this paired with like your favorite like eyelash oil, like if you use castor oil on your lashes or um, jojoba oil on your lashes or vitamin E oil, this pairs beautifully with it. So I put this on first and then sometimes I'll do like an oil over top. But most nights I just use this by itself and my lashes have been thriving. And I'm so happy that they're finally grown back and they're actually longer than they used to be. So this is pretty amazing. So check out Target and you can't find it in store, they have it online because I ordered mine online at Target. Okay, so last but not least, I have some fragrances to share with you guys, some new perfumes that I wanted to try. I'm gonna start with the first one. So the first one I've been wanting to try for a while, but I was really reluctant because I absolutely hate the bottle. I think it's so ugly and tacky. <laughs> And it's not something I would gravitate towards like on my bathroom counter. Cause yeah. a part of like my love for perfumes is the bottles. Like yeah. I love collecting them. They mm -hmm. look really pretty. Like on like the bathroom dresser. counter, the dresser. Yeah. Um, so I wasn't drawn to the way this looked, but the notes kept calling my name. Cause you guys know I'm a gourmand girl. I love sweet, warm smells. And this is Hypnotic Poison by Dior. This perfume is quite a cult favorite for some people. If you know about it, you know about it. And if you like a warm, sweet scent, then you have probably tried this before. But like I said, I was reluctant because of the ugly bottle. But I got past it because when I finally smelled this, you guys, this is like the perfect everyday gourmand. Cause some sweet smells can be a bit too much for some people. For every day? For every day, yeah. yeah. But this is like the perfect everyday, like signature fall, winter smell. If you like a very airy, fluffy, creamy scent, this is gorgeous like it's so warm and like sweet but it's not like that seductive sweet it's like a very like calm like beautiful sweet it just smells like a pretty girl who smells fresh airy warm it's so so good i know this has vanilla tonka bean and i forgot the rest of the notes but for sure it has a vanilla and tonka bean it's so so good it's like an airy vanilla it's not like a super dense vanilla if that makes sense i really enjoy this it's completely gone so i use the whole thing i always try smaller bottles when i'm first trying a perfume or i'll just get like a travel size but this only comes in a roller ball and i hate roller balls but this is so so bomb so if you guys have been looking for a new warm sweet that's like airy and like every day you would love this Okay, so my next scent is also another sweet scent, but this is like very sexy, seductive sweet. Ooh, so okay. this is from Jean-Paul Gaultier, and this is the La Belle. Obsessed. Yeah, this is called La Belle. I also had, had the red and black one in the same bottle, which is called, I think, La Parfume. But that one has like a juicier, more fruity scent to me. This one is a lot warmer. It's fruity and it's sweet. This is like ultra feminine it has like a very juicy but also warm like mixture it's the perfect balance this one has like the most perfect combination of notes that we both like but when i first sprayed this i instantly knew that this was going to be like a go-to like every day like fall winter scent this could honestly be worn throughout the entire year yeah. like it could be like I a signature so scent mm -hmm. it's not giving like a specific season mm -hmm. it's just giving I wear this every day. It smells like a pretty, seductive, sexy woman. It's not like too in your face. It's not aggressive. It's like just like a gorgeous, fruity floral. Mm -hmm. It has rose, vanilla, and pear, which is basically both of us. It's in a, both of us in a perfume. In a perfume. It's mm -hmm. so, so good. So if you guys are looking for like a new everyday scent and you've been trying to figure out which one to try from this brand, this one to me is the best. A lot of people like the other one better, but I prefer LaBelle. I like this one better. It's yeah. so, so pretty. They and have a bigger bottle. Yes, they do. Okay. <laughs> so if you guys have been looking for a new like sweet floral, this mostly on the sweet side and you like pear, you love vanilla, rose, gorgeous. So something that's the complete opposite of that, but I also love, and I heard a lot of good things about before I bought this, 
is the Versace Crystal Noir. You guys know Versace Bright Crystal used to be my jam back in the day. It was yeah. like one of the first designer perfumes I bought myself. Cause I feel like designer perfumes, like a lot of them smell very similar. Mm -hmm. And that was one that stood out to me. Every time I would go in Sephora, I would spray it. And eventually I just went ahead and bought it for myself. It's like a very like clean floral. It's like a fresh floral. So if you guys like fresh, crisp florals, that one is bomb. It's perfect for like every day if you don't want to smell like warm or sweet. It's like a nice, clean, soft floral. This though is very androgynous. It's very unique. It's probably one of the mo most unique like designer scents that I smell because a lot of them are just warm florals. Most designer scents don't really like to venture out mm -hmm. into like other notes, I so notice. True. And this is one that stands out to me. As soon as I smelled it, I cannot compare it to anything, which is a good thing. So this is like a crisp, spicy, coconut, androgynous like scent. This doesn't have any sweet to me. It's just like a clean floral that has some coconut, but the coconut is not like the main note in there. The dry down has more coconut, but when you it first spray it, too. it's like very clean and it's just like an interesting, it's kind of like has a soapy undertone. Yeah, I smell like very clean. It's spicy, it's soapy, but it's still really pretty. Spicy and soapy. You know? I get that. If you smell this, then you know what I'm talking about. It's really hard to explain this one because it's super, super unique. You just have to go smell it for yourself. Cashmere does have like a clean, warm scent to it. Like cashmere smells like a clean blanket. Mm -hmm. So it is giving cashmere. I do not smell the vanilla, but no. it's, just, it's giving like clean, crisp, like spicy soap. <laughs> That's still what it smells like to me. The notes, it's still not helping me, which is why I don't always read notes. I just like to go out what my nose is telling me and that's what it's telling me. So if you guys want to smell unique, classy, but not super predictable, this is for you. Okay guys, so that wraps up this current faves. We hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, we will have a full list of all the products that we mentioned in today's video in the description box for you guys to check out. We love doing favorites videos. We don't do them as often as we used to, but that's because I feel like the older I get, the more picky I get with products. Mm -hmm. So we only like to mention things to you guys that we are obsessed with, not that we kind of like, you know, it's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, once again, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time. Six, my regular, I'm talking.